بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم دس از کیمبرج پرائمری میتھمیٹکس بک اینڈ آئی ایم آر سی ایس این دس بک از فار گریڈ تھری اینڈ ان مائی پریویس ویڈیو آئی ہیو ایکسپلین ہاؤ ٹو سالو دیز پزلس دس اینڈ دیز نمبرس لیٹس ہیو اے کوئک لک ایٹ دیز نمبرس ونس اگین ٹوڈے آئی ایم I am in a Zoom meeting, so I have all the controls to write on the screen right here. Okay. So the rules for doing these things, these puzzles is this. If we go from left to right, we will just increase in one number, plus one. If we are going this way, we will do plus one. And if we are going uh, left, so we will do minus one. Okay. And for going up to down, from top to bottom, if we are going backwards, we will do minus 10. And if we are going downwards or onwards, we can say, we will do plus 10. Okay, so let's do this one. 479, it will become 480. Uh, and uh, this way on left hand side it will be 478 and if we go up it will be 470 460 and downwards it will be 490 and 500 and uh, up if we go up from here it will be 468 458 and downwards it is 488 and uh, 498. You can check your answers by filling in the middle. Like it will be 459 and this will be 469. Okay. We have discussed this page in detail in my last video. So let's move on. Complete the missing numbers. How will we complete these numbers? It is written 428. Basically, the main purpose of this chapter is uh, making your kids aware of greater numbers, of numbers from 0 to 1000. For its practice, for drilling, you should give uh, some questions to your kids like this. Okay? If the number is 497, then add 10 in it. Or if the number is 497, then add 100 in it. Uh, give them questions like this. It will make their mental math sharp. And it will help them in dealing with numbers up to thousands. So read this number. It is 428. So we will, in first box, we will write 400. In second, we will write 20 and the 8 is only a unit. So we will write it alone. So here they have given us zeros. So we will write the number like this. 4, 20, 8, 913. Uh, it means this number has only 1 tenth. Okay, when the number is given to you in its expanded form, how will you write it? We will write it 576. And this number is 395. Actually, let's move on to the next page. What three digit number is shown in each place value grid? In each place value grid. This, uh, this is hundreds, tens and ones. And we can write it as hundreds, tens and ones. So it, it will be 200. And how many tens do we have? It is only one. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 5 ones. So this number is 215. And this number, the second number is 632.
2. Okay. Next question number 4 is what 3 digit number is represented below? This bigger box is equivalent to 100. Tell your kids to count it once and then remember that this big box is always equals to 100. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes this at this side and 10 boxes at this side. So 10 into 10 is 100. In grade 3, kids are grown up and they know their times tables so they can multiply 10 by 10. It is it will give them 100 okay so 1 2 3 4 500 and how many tens do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 560 1 2 3 4 4 units we have this number 564 now let's move on to next question. Work example one. What is the value of ringed digit in this three digit number? Ringed digit. It is in the middle and it is in its tens place. So you can say that it is on a tens place or we can write it as its value is 70. 472. It means that we have 400 plus 70 plus 2 rupees. 472 is 400. Okay, seven. It helps to say the number out loud. And you say the value of each digit as you read it. Okay, what is the value of ring digit in three digit numbers? The central one is tens place or 30. The first one is at 900 and it is at hundreds place or we can write it both ways are correct. 9 is at hundreds place and this one is ones and this one is tens. Both ways are correct. You can write your answers this way and uh, this way as well. Okay. Is it easier to find the value of the hundreds, tens or ones digits? Why do you think so? Yes, it was easy because uh, when the numbers are on their right places, it is easy to find the value. Okay, well, hmm. uh, let's read this question. Thomas made nine three digit numbers using a set of place value cards. These numbers, what could the other two numbers be? Okay, it is activity. Think like a mathematician. So let's do it. Okay, so uh, Thomas made three digit numbers, nine three digit numbers using a set of place value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven numbers are given. We have to find two other numbers. Hmm. What could the two other numbers be? They can be any numbers. Like we can put two at uh, hundreds place. 247 or we can write that uh, it is 763 we can write any numbers compare your numbers with those of someone else in your class if your numbers are different can you explain why numbers can be different because uh, there are uh, nine place value cards and we can rearrange them in many other ways they didn't say that uh, arrange them in a specific way this or that or we can do one trick with these numbers that uh, they have used one in hundreds place here so uh, two 
three, four. They haven't used five in hundreds place, so we will write five here. Six they have used, seven and nine they have used, but eight they haven't used in hundreds place. Okay. Okay, so other, uh, let's see, tens place. It is in tens place. They haven't used one or, okay. So we will write one here. They have used two, um, three, four, five, six. They haven't used, so we will write six here. Seven, eight, and nine are used. Wow. Okay, now one left. One. Okay, uh, one is used in their units place. Two is not used. We will write two here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, other digits are used. So technically, if we say that, if we find the numbers, we can find these numbers, 512 and 866. Okay, because in these numbers, see, they haven't used 5 in hundreds place. So we have used 5 in hundreds place and uh, we did it. But your number can be different uh, as compared to your friend's number because we have used five and hundreds place with this number it can be 566 or it can be 812 or it can be any number okay use these number words to write four three digit numbers we have to write four three digit numbers Okay. Four three digit numbers. So let's find. We have hundred, eight, and uh, seventy five, three. Okay. We can write 800. I am writing in numerals because writing in uh, letters, writing as letters is challenging on the screen. 800 and 73. Or we can write that uh, 300 and uh, 50. 50 okay only write 350 or we can write uh, we cannot write 500 or 700 because it is with the 70 50 so next we will write 800 and uh, 53 First, we have written 73. Now, we will write 53. Or, we can write 378. You can choose or make any numbers. Or, and, most probably, your friend uh, is making some other numbers. Now look what I can do. I can say and uh, read numbers up to 1000. Ask your students that can you do these? Uh, like can you say or write the numbers up to 1000? Do you know the value of uh, three digit numbers? Or can you count onward and backward from 0 to 1000? And uh, we will do rest of the pages in my next video. See you next time. Allah Hafiz.